Hi, my name is Kujo Oponkroma, Minister Responsible for Information. It's true, over the last weekend, uh, the executive branch of government, led by the president and his ministers, had a cabinet retreat. It's a regular retreat, one done every quarter. But this retreat had the opportunity to look at some of the emerging economic difficulties globally and how they are affecting Ghana. And the president has made a number of decisions. One, he's made a decision on the borders. When to open the borders, the residual preventive systems to put in place at the borders to ensure that while the, or, uh, the borders are opened, we still don't have uh, infections crossing over from our borders into the Ghanaian jurisdiction. And again, while the borders are open, we're able to protect our populations from the risks of insecurity from the northern uh, frontiers. Two, the president has also taken some very bold decisions on the currency. And the currency, as you know, is managed first by the central bank, but the broader economic managers also have a role to play. So the central bank today, Monday, after its monetary policy committee meetings, which had even taken place before the cabinet retreat, will announce its measures on what it plans to do on smoothening currency transactions and reducing pressure on the city. But later in the week, the finance minister will also give an update on what central government is doing to uh, shore up uh, the currency. This is all part of short-term measures, even as we work towards the medium and long-term measures aimed at uh, boosting the strength of the Ghanaian city. Another thing that the president confronted and dealt with was the uh, fiscal situation, revenue, expenditure, debt management in between. And the president is taking some far-reaching measures and giving some clear instructions. Instructions, essentially, that will ensure that we stay on the budget deficit target for the year, and stay on the deficit path for the next two, three years and ensure that the fundamentals are kept firmly in place. The finance minister is engaging with various stakeholders in the economy and who announced to the country sometime this week the details of those fiscal measures. But you can be rest assured that the president uh, has given clear directives on what he will not compromise on. And the kind of measures that will be taken will cut from the very top right down to the bottom. And all of us hopefully can get to play a part in it. Another matter that uh, cabinet dealt with and the president took some clear decisions on had to do with fuel prices and inflation. And he's asked the finance minister and the minister for energy to engage with stakeholders in the economy, particularly on the fuel side, on how to ensure that some lasting solutions are brought to bear that ease the pressure. So that despite increases on the global front, we can do something about the situation here in Ghana a little bit. We look forward to the entire country supporting these measures, even as they are announced later this week. All the best.